what's going on man quick message uh for the youth um you know if you think about selling drugs and things like that man and you know you get an opportunity or you know one of your buddies come to you and say hey man i got this situation where we can make some money um if your first thought come to your mind to be like no nah, man i don't want to do it but you really don't want to tell your buddies and friends and stuff like that because you think they're going to clown you or yo, you scared, yo, why you don't want to do it, yo? But if your first thought come to you, your, your, your brain, your mind like that, yo, if you get that first thought, don't do it, man. Um, and I'm just telling y'all from, a, you know, OG status, you know, I, you know, I've been out there here and there, we was doing our thing here and there. After a while, yo, you just get tired of it, yo. You know, everybody getting locked up and telling on each other or, you know, certain situations happen and, you know, people are just might tell on you just to tell on you. You know what I mean? Like, you probably didn't, didn't even do it, but they've got to put the blame on somebody. But, um, you know, I, I would say, because a lot of older people, like, my, I'm 34, you know what I mean? So a lot of people my age really don't be trying to talk to the youth like that. They just let the youth, especially in Baltimore City, uh, they let the, the youth out here, you know, they, they you might as well say they the parents. Because a lot of youth out here be telling the, the parents what to do. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to say to y'all, um, share this message, man. And, and somebody like me, I'm going to let it be known. Don, you don't got to go out there and do none of that stuff. If you want to get a job, go ahead and get a job. If, if you know, uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is if, if you got a hustle going on, if you know how to make clothes, you know, sell bottles of water, cut grass, shovel snow, or whatever you know how to do, do hair or whatever, do that first. You know what I mean? Because it's always good to be your own boss. I would say that first. And, but if, you know, you don't really got nothing to do and all that, you want to go work at McDonald's and Target or Walmart, that's kind of cool. But I would say save your money up to become your own boss. You know what I mean? So that's what I say. And the most important thing is to stay out of trouble. When you can say, when you can look at me, I'm 34, I got a clean background. You know what I mean? A lot of people judge me because of my tattoos and stuff like that. They think I'm a gangbanger. You know what I mean? I think I'm robbing and killing people out here. And, and, you know, somebody might be scared when I come past, might lock their doors or something like that. But it's cool, though. But, um, somebody always going to think something bad about you anyway, good or bad. It's just, that's what people do. But I just wanted to share this message. Something I was thinking about as I was walking. And I was like, in my mind, something was like, yo, don't sell drugs. Not saying I'm, I'm getting involved in it, but I just I started thinking about stuff, you know. Baltimore City, where I live at, is rough, man. It's tough out here, yo. It ain't like, you know what I mean, wherever you at and you, and you got clean streets. I mean, it's, it's like that sometimes down here in certain parts, but the majority of it in the inner cities is bad, man. And, um, you know, we just try to survive out here to make it work. So, this is a message from To The Loot. You know, telling the youth, man, if you want to sell drugs, yo, check this out, man. You don't got to do it. It's your life. You do what you want to do. If your friends think you're a clown because you don't want to go out there and sell weed, crack cocaine, you know what I mean, all that dumb stuff, pills and stuff like that. If they think you're a clown because you want to get a job or you got your own business, they ain't your friends. Period. And that's the people you need to leave behind, for real, for real. You know what I mean? Separate yourself from people that think that be thinking like that. So don't even worry about that. You know what I mean? Just do what you got to do for yourself. And then... If you look at this right now, or you 12 and up, or 16 and up, and up or whatever, and you get to my age, you'd be like, I see what Tilda Luke was talking about. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to live like this a long time to stay out of trouble. And, you know, things happen. Things, people won't try you. But um, you just got to be the bigger person to try your best to walk away. And um, I can say that now as being sober. <coughs> excuse me, as being sober. But when I was drinking under the influence and stuff like that, I've been in a situation that almost got killed and I almost might have killed somebody. So just wanted to share this message to y'all, man. It's your boy to the loop. Appreciate y'all listening. Peace.